In this video, we're going to show you how to add a complete restaurant menu to your custom post type, complete with a menu title for each section. So we're going to go navigate to our custom post type and we're going to go to the field section. We're going to go down and we're going to add custom fields. We're going to add a repeater. Let's go down the repeater. I'm going to move this just up here just so it's easier. Click on the repeater and we're going to name this menu. Okay, so from there, we need to also add a repeater field and we need them to be able to name the menu title. We'll leave that. We need to add another repeater item, which is right here. And these are going to be the menu items. Okay. And then we have our menu title, which is going to be like pizza. And then our menu items are going to be all the different pizzas that we offer. Click on menu items. We're going to click on repeater fields for the menu items. And we want them to be a text for the title, text editor for the ingredients, and then a number for the cost. Go through um, and name these however you wish. and cost we have that you can uh, change any of the settings as you see fit but for right now we're just going to leave everything the way it is um, and then underneath of the menu items row label we'll do the item name and then under general of our main one we'll do the menu title we'll save that Save those changes, go to our single page template, and we're going to work on designing this a little bit. So we want this to, we can show this in a couple different ways, whether we want to show it in an accordion or if we want to show it inside of like an open menu, and I'll show you how to do both. So we have our menu section here. We're going to add a container. Okay. And then we're going to add a heading. Let's change that heading to be the post repeater menu. We want that to be the post title. All right, we've got the main menu title. Now we want to add the ability to show all of our menu items underneath of that menu title. So I like to do this just because it's easiest. Insert one of these six grid layouts right here that you see, just because I want them to be three wide. We're going to copy and we're going to paste that right inside. So we have that. We're going to get rid of all of these extra ones. And we're going to edit this main outside container. And I'm just going to do a couple of um, adjustments to what it looks like. This could be completely dependent on what you want to do. Um, so it's up to you how you want to do that. All right, we're going to make this one 30%, just make it smaller. Okay, now let's go through and we're going to add an image box. We're going to, if you wanted to do an image, you could have added the image underneath of the menu, repeater, menu items repeater fields. You can add an image here if you want to. I just don't feel like doing that. We're going to get rid of that. Replace the heading with the menu, menu items, item name. And then we're going to do the same thing. Menu, menu items, ingredients. And I actually want to go back and do the menu name. We're going to put the cost up there with that as well. Put a dollar sign. I new name cost ingredients. Pizza, we have all of our settings set up. So now we need to make it so that it does a repeater. So it doesn't just show one. Let's start with the item, the menu items itself. So we're going to go through and we're going to click on this container that contains this image uh, box. And we're going to go to voxel, loop element, edit loop, 
and we want this to be the menu items. Click on use loop. So now this container is going to span across three wide, going until the menus are done and they run out. Now we want to click on this container that the entire menu we just created is in. And we want to go to voxel, loop element, edit loop, menu, use loop. And that's going to loop all of those different items down as, as, as far as many items as you uh, have. We're going to do a little bit of styling. Let's left align that. We're going to do this image box. That's good. Yeah, everything looks good. Let's update this. Let's go over to our post. Let's save that again real quick. Go to our post that we have, Pizza Crust. And this is where you're going to add all of your menu items. Now I've already got my menu items here, but let me show you how to do a new one. Add, this is gonna be our menu title, so let's do wings. And then down below, we're gonna do hot wings. These are super hot. And the cost is gonna be $5. Let's do another row, mild wings. These are as hot, $5. And then we're gonna do garlic parm. These are delicious. All right. Delivious. So we've got our wings the title of the section, each of the menu items underneath. And I'll do four just so you guys can see what it looks like in a four setting. Um, let's do um, a bay for those Marylanders. These are for the Maryland people. And I'll make these $6. So we've got our menu title and then each of our menu items underneath. Let's go through and update this. And we may have to go through and style it a little bit more. Let's view this post. Let's go through and we have our menu. We got the pizza, the three pieces that we add that you can see right here. 12, 16, 30, 20. We have our sandwiches, BLT, Reuben, and steak and cheese. We have all of these repeating and then you can see the wings repeating four in a row. Now we can go through and add some more styling Say, for example, this container, we want to add 20 padding to the bottom and add a border. Let's do that. So we added a one pixel border. So now it's separated out. You could do the same exact thing with an accordion. Let's do that. Let's add an accordion. Let's get this out of this container. Let's get rid of these two. And then we're going to take this container that we did and we're just gonna paste it right in because essentially we're gonna have to recreate that anyway. So we'll just, let's just go ahead and do that. The only thing that we're gonna do differently now is in the accordion and the title of it, we're gonna do the menu name, the menu title, and then we're gonna take this one accordion that we have, open that up, and then edit the loop, and go to menu. Let's go ahead and view this on the front end. And then we have our pizza, sandwiches, wings. With a little bit of styling, of course, these are always gonna look better. But this is just a quick uh, concept. So go through, if I want to edit the post and I wanna get rid of, uh, let's see, all these sandwiches, we can do that. Go here, update, and then we're gonna go view our front end. All the sandwiches are now gone. Sandwiches are gone, everything's gone. So it's, very, very much so dynamic. 
because this is what it looks like on the front end. Pizza, wings, add as much as you want. Add an image here if you want to, if you want to be able to display images, but there you go. You could do all of that with using the repeaters and the voxel theme.